nais kong maging bahagi ng isang adhikain at makiisa sa gawaing makajos at masaya paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay kaisa ng Birheng Maria Our Lady of Sorrows para na Pagpapala mong lubos Sa krus ni Kristo Jesus Na iyong anak kami tinubos Sa patubay ng Espiritu Banal sa aming buhay At kain ng Maria Ang bagong Eva na mapagkalinga Viva! Sorrow, si tuloy ang saya sa habang 
Meron na po. Ito po yung tapos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. Let us pray, O God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory. Sanctify this new fire, we pray, and grant by these paschal celebrations we may be so aflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may attain festivities of unending splendor through Christ our Lord.
Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. All times belong to Him. And all ages to Him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. By His Holy, and glorious wounds, may Christ the Lord Guard us and protect us. Amen. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and of our minds. Sisimulan na po natin ang posisyon, papasok sa loob ng simbahan. Mangyari lamang po na bigyang daan natin ang pari, papasok sa loob. Gagamitin natin ang main door papunta ng simbahan. Christ our light, thanks be to God. Christ our light. Thanks be to God.
Christ our light. Magala kayong lahat sa kalangitan, kayo mga anghel ay mga gawitan. Magala kayong lahat na mapapalad na nilikha na nakapaligid sa luklukang dakila. Si Kristo na ating hari ay nabuhay na maguli. Ipanati ng tambuli Dito ng ating kaligtasan Magala ko sa libutan Sa maningning nating ilaw Si Kristo na walang maliw Ang pumaram sa dilim Magalak ng lubos ang buong sangkayanan Sa kalwarhatian lahat tayo'y maghiwang Sa nining ni Yesu Cristo Sumagi sa san sinuko Siya'y buling na buhay tunay na manunod Itaas sa kalangitan, ating puso at isipan. Diyos sa may pasalamatan sa anak niyang nabuhay. Sa pagkatapat siyang tunay sa kaniyang pananagutan para sa kinabilangan. Iya na sambayanan, magalak ng lubos ang buong sambayanan. Sa kalwakatian lahat tayo'y magliwang. Sa nining ni Yesu Cristo, sumagin sa san sinukot. Siya'y muling na buhay, tunay na manunubos. Ngayon nga ang kapistahan ni Yesu Cristo ng nagalay ng kaniyang sariling buhay. Nagtiis ng kamatayan ang mina ng kasalanan. Ang dating kaalipinay sa tubig pawang na para kalaya ay nakamtan. Nagdubos ang buong sangkayanan sa kalwalatian lahat tayo'y magiwang. 
sanin din ni Heso Kristo, sumagin sa san sinuko, siya'y muling nabuhay, tunay na malunubos. Ngayon nga ang pagdiriwang ng ating muling pagsilang sa tubig ng kaligtasan, Mabatis ng kabanalan Pagkat mula sa libingan Bumango na matagumpay Mesiyas ng sanlibutan Si Jesus naming mahal Magalang ng lubos ang buo Sambayanan sa kalwalatian na ang tayo'y mag-iwang. Saning ni Jesu Cristo, sumagin sa san sinuko, siya'y muling na buhay, tunay na manunubos. Diyos ama ng sanlibutan, Tunay na walang kapantay, pag-ibig mo't katapatan para sa mga hinirang. Handog mo'y kapatawaran sa lahat ng kasalanan. Higit sa lahat mong alay, si Jesus naming mahal. Magalap ng lubos ang buong sambayanan, sa malalatian lahat tayo'y mag-ibang. Sa ningin ni Jesu Cristo, sumagin sa san sinuko, siya'y muling na buhay, tunay na manunod. Dahil sa kaligayahan, sa amin nag-uumapaw, hain namin itong ilaw sa gisag ng pagkabuhay. Tunay na kaliwanagang, Hatid ni Jesus na tanglaw Ang dilim ng kamatayan Ay napawit na parang Magalap ng lubos ang buong sambayanan Sa kalwalatian lahat tayo'y magiwang sa hindi ni Heso Kristo, sumagip sa san sinuko, siya'y muling na buhay, tunay na manunubos. Ang araw ng kaligtasan, si Jesus bukang liwayway, walang maliw na patnubay. Sa landas ng kaligtasan, hatid niya'y kapayapaan, lakas mo at pagmamahal upang aming magampanan. Aming pananagutan, magalap ng lubos ang buong sambayanan. Sa kalwalatian lahat tayo'y mag-iwang. Sa hindi ni Heso Kristo, sumagin sa san sinuko, siya'y muling na buhay, tunay na manunubos. Magalap ng lubos ang buong Sambayanan sa kalwalatian lahat tayo'y mag-iwang sa hindi ni Heso Kristo sumagit sa san sinuko siya'y muling na buhay tunay na manunubos Dear brothers and sisters now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past 
save this people and in these the last days he has sent us his son as our redeemer let us pray that God may complete his paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. You may now put off your candles as we have our liturgy of the word. Please be seated. Thank you. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw how good the light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Thus evening came, and morning followed the first day. Then God said, Let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome, and it separated the water above the dome from the water below it. God called the dome the sky. Evening came and morning followed the second day. Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth, and the basin of the water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed, and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed the third day. Then God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times, the days and the years, and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day and the lesser one to govern the night, and he made stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed the fourth day. Then God said, Let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. 
God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the water of the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came and morning followed the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day, God has finished with the work he had been doing. He rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh soul. O oh Lord my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. Lord, send out your spirit and renew Fix the earth upon its foundation, not to be moved forever. With the ocean as with a garment, you covered it. Above the mountains, the waters stood. Oh. 
into the water courses that wind among the mountains beside them the birds of heaven dwell from among the branches they sent forth their song Lord send out your spirit and bring you from your palace the earth is replete with the fruit of your works you raise grass for the cattle and vegetation for man's use Lord send out your spirit and renew Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Please all stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ our Passover, has been sacrificed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am. He replied. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac, and two of his servants as well, and with the wood that he had cut for the holocaust, and set out for the place of which God had sold him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar, and he said to his servants, both of you stay here with the donkey, while the boy and I go on over yonder. We will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon, Abraham took the wood for the holocaust and laid it to his son Isaac's shoulders, while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked out together, Isaac spoke to his father Abraham, Father, Isaac said, Yes, son. He replied. Isaac continued, Here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the holocaust? Son, Abraham said, God himself will provide the sheep for the holocaust. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of which God had sold him, Abraham built an altar there 
and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am. He answered, Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do listing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by his horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as the holocaust in place of his son. Abraham named the side Yahweh Yeri. Hence, people now say, On the mountain, the Lord will see. Again, the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did not, in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, Lord. 
Please all stand. Let us pray. O God, Supreme Father of the faithful, who increased the children of your promise, by pouring out the grace of adoption throughout the whole world and through the Paschal mystery. Make your servant Abraham, father of nations, as once you swore. Grant, we pray, that your peoples may enter worthily into the grace to which you call them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward. And you lift up your staff with hand outstretched over the sea. Split the sea in two that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The angel of God who had been leading Israel's camp now move and went around behind them. The column of cloud also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them, so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed, without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All perils, horses, and chariots, and charioteers went after them, right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force, a glance that drew it into a panic. And he so clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and not dawn. The sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were playing head on toward the sea. When the Lord hurled them into its midst, as the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped. 
But the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. Then Moses and the Israelites sang the song to the Lord, I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant, horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise Him. The God of my Father, I extol Him. Let us sing to the Lord, He has covered Himself. The Lord is a warrior, Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. Let us sing to the Lord, He has covered Himself in glory. The flood waters covered them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has shattered the enemy. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. You brought in the people, you redeemed, and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance. The place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Let us sing to the Lord, He has covered Himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself 
in glory. Please all stand. Let us pray, O God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day. For what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth, Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright through Christ our Lord. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
Oremus. O God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that renewed in body and mind, we may render you undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead, by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as being dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ah, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alle, Alleluia, Alle, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Ale, alleluia, ale, alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures. For ever, let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures for ever. Alleluia, 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 
Ale, Alleluia. Ale, Alleluia. Alleluia. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alle, Alleluia, Alle, Alleluia, Alleluia. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It's wonderful in our eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alle, Alleluia, Alle, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early, when the sun had risen, on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll back the stone for us for the, from the entrance to the tomb? And then they looked up and they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting at the right side, clothed in white robe. They were utterly amazed. He said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold, the place where they laid him. Go and Tell his disciples and Peter, He is going before you to Galilee, where you will see him as he told you. The Gospel of our Lord. Glory. 
Please be seated. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Bago tayo magtuloy sa atin pong pag-uusap at pagdinilay, pwede bang batiin nyo yung katabi nyo ng may ngiti yan at sabihin nyo, Maligayang Pasko. Ayan. Dugtungan nyo, sabihin nyo, Pasko ng pagkabuhay. Bigyan natin na masigabong palakpak ang Panginoon, mga kapatid. Matapos ang mga araw na tayo po'y naghanda sa pamagitan ng kwaresma, ang gabing ito ang pinakadakilang gabi sa atin pong mga parangal at pagdiriwang. Kung napansin po ninyo, tatlong pagbasa lamang sa lumang tipan ang atin pong pinili upang marinig, ipahayag, at pagnilayan. Unang-una, natatakot po ako na ito ang ikatlong araw ng pagtitipon, baka yung iba sa inyo ay inaantok na. Kapoy na, sabi nga nung iba, lalo na kahapon, mahaba ang prosesyon. No? Pero, ang dahilan po dyan at mas malalim na dahilan ay sapagkat gusto kong bigyan diin ano ba ang tatlong mahalagang ginugunita natin ngayong gabi ng bijil na kung tawagin po ng simbahan ay the mother of all bijils. Tatlong pagdiriwang ang atin pong sabay-sabay na ginugunita ngayong gabi. Una, sa unang pagbasa, narinig natin ang mahabang salaysay ng paglikha ng Diyos ng mundo, ng kalikasan at sa dulo ang paglikha ng Diyos sa tao. At yan po, alam nyo, ang unang pinagdiriwang natin tuwing Easter. Palagi akong tinatanong, ano ang nauuna? Itlog o manok? Ano sa tingin ninyo? Ha? Itlog o manok? Ah. Mas mahirap yata yung sagutin. Pero may mas madaling tanong. Ano ang nauna? Winter, spring, summer, or fall? Ah, tanungin nyo yung mga matatanda. Awit nila yan. Winter, spring, summer, or fall? Alin sa apat? na seasons na yan ang nauna? Kung nakinig kayo ng maayos sa unang pagbasa mula sa salaysay ng paglikha ng Diyos ng lahat ng bagay, sabi doon, nang likhain ng Diyos ang mundo, nilikha niya na ang mga punong kahoy ay may bulaklak at may mga bunga. Amen? O, oh, kailan yan? Spring. Kaya nga po yan ang unang pinagdiriwang natin sa gabing ito. Ang gabing ito ay anibersaryo ng paglikha ng amang mapagmahal sa lahat ng mundo, kalikasan, at sang tinakpan. Yun po ang una. Pero pangalawa, binasa natin ang ikatlong pagbasa ng lumang tipan kanina sa kadiliman upang 
makapokus tayo sa mga salita at magnilay. At ano yung ikatlong pagbasa? Tungkol kay Moises. Tama. Ang paglaya ng Israel mula sa apat na raan at dalawampung taon ng pagkaalipin sa Egypt. At yan po ang ikalawang pinagdiriwang natin sa gabing ito kasama ng buong bayan ng Israel ang anibersaryo ng Passover. Yan. Pero anong pangatlo? Ano ba yung second reading kanina? Ha? Ang ikalawang pagbasa tungkol kay Abraham. Tungkol kay Abraham. Anong ginawa ni Abraham? Pinag-alay siya ng kanyang kaisa-isang anak na si Shak. Ishak. Yan ang pangalan niya sa Ebreo. Ishak. Nang ibig sabihin ay halakhak. Oh. Ishak. Oh. Halakhak. Pero na nangyari? Pag-alay ni Abraham, ibinalik sa kanya na buhay si Ishak. Tama? Yan po yung ikatlong pagdiriwang natin sa gabing ito. Ang pag-aalay ng Ama dahil mahal niya tayo, inialay niya ang kanyang anak, bugtong na anak. Pero ngayong gabi, pinagdiriwang natin ang anak na inialay hindi lamang buhay, muling na buhay. Amen! Bigyan natin ng palakpak ang Panginoon. Yan po ang tatlong misteryo na atin pong pinagdiriwang tuwing Easter Vigil. At sana maalala nyo yan. Hindi lang yung mga seremonya, kung hindi yung pakahulugan ng mga seremonya at pagbasa. No? Ang tatlong mighty works ng Panginoon. Creation, Passover, at death and resurrection ng Panginoong Hesus. Ngayon siguro ang tanong natin eh, bakit ba sa pamagitan ng kanyang kamatayan at muling pagkabuhay, tayo ay nailigtas ni Jesus? Bakit nagliligtas ang krus at ang muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus? Bakit nagliligtas? Ha? Huh? Dalawang bagay, kapatid. Una, lingunin mo yung katabi mo. Ngitian mo siya. At sabihin mo, mamamatay ka ba? <laughs> ha? 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 Hindi ako nagbibiro. O, oh, talongin niyo. Mamamatay ka ba? Siyempre, lahat tayo mamamatay. Kung paano tayo may birthday, tayo rin ay may kamatayan. Pero ito ang susunod na tanong. Bakit may kamatayan ang tao? Hmm. Ha? Bakit may kamatayan ng tao? May kamatayan ng tao sapagkat tayo'y tagapagmana ng kasalanan. 
Amen? Ang kasalanan at kamatayan ay magpinsan. Kaya may kamatayan ay sapagkat may kasalanan. Pero, tignan nyo, bakit namatay si Kristo? May kasalanan ba siya? Ha? Eh bakit siya namatay? Tayo ay namamatay dahil sa ating kasalanan. Si Kristo ay namatay para sa ating kasalanan. Yun ang kaibahan. Iba yung pagkamatay ni Kristo. Tayo dapat tayo mamatay. Karapat dapat lang. Pero ang Kristo, walang bahid dungis na matay para sa ating kasalanan. At dahil dyan, ang kanyang muling pagkabuhay ay garantiya na tayo'y ligtas na. Amen? O, sabi mo yung katabi mo, ligtas ka na. Ha? Ligtas ka na. Ha? O, iniligtas ka. O, ikaw dapat nandyan eh. O, pero sa kanyang kamatayan na walang kasalanan, tayo'y iniligtas ni Jesus. Ikalawa, ano ang dahilan kung bakit nakapagliligtas ang kamatayan at muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus? Maliban po sa unang sinabi natin, pangalawa, ang lahat ng naganap kay Jesus ay pagtalima. Pagtalima. Pagsunod sa Ama. Oh, kita nyo si Abraham, kaya pinagpala kasi mahirap mang sundan, sinunod niya ang gusto ng Ama. Oh, hindi man niya maintindihan, sinunod niya ang gusto ng Ama. Oh, si Adan ayaw sumunod kasi masyadong nag-iisip. Ayan. Kaya sabihin mo sa katabi mo, huwag kang mag-iisip. Ha? Oo. Sunod lang. Ha? Oo. Alam nyo, yan ang problema ng tao ngayon eh. Masyadong magaling. Masyadong nag-iisip. Ha? Sa sobrang isip naman, napapahama. Oh, ano nawala natin ang pagtitiwala at pagsunod sa Ama? Si Jesus, yun ang kanyang sinabi, di ba? Ama, kung ano ang iyong kalooban, mahirap man, into your hands, I commend my spirit. Yun po ang dahilan kung bakit ang kamatayan sa krus at muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus ay talagang napakahalaga para sa ating kaligtasan. At nawa, tuwing makikita nyo ang krus na yan, ito'y magpaalala sa atin hindi lamang ng kamatayan. Kung hindi, ang pagwawagi ni Jesus dahil sa kanyang ginawa. Amen. Amen. Bigyan natin muli ng masigabong palakpak, papuri ang Panginoon.
mga minamahal kong mga kapatid, dadako tayo ngayon sa ikatlong bahagi ng atin pong apat na bahagi ng bihilya ng muling pagkabuhay. At sa ikatlong bahaging ito ay gagawin po natin ang paggunita sa binyag na kung saan tayo ay namatay sa kasalanan at nabuhay maguli kay Jesus na muling nabuhay. Sa gabing ito, tayo po'y pinagpala bilang parokya. Alam niyo kung bakit? Hindi lang tayo magpapanibago ng ating binyag, mayroon tayong tatanggapin na bagong kaanib sa ating komunidad kristyano. Ngayong gabi, ay bibinyagan, kukumpilan, at tatanggap ng unang komunyon ang atin pong tatanggapin na kapatid mula sa Thailand. 31 years old. Ipinanganak sa isang Buddhist family. Pero ngayong gabi, si Papa Tsorn Chuy Chuklin na tatanggap ng pangalang Anastasia ay bibinyagan bilang ganap na Kristiyano-Katoliko. Sinilang siya noong asyete ng Nobyembre 1992 at tatayo na kanyang mga ninong at ninang sa binyag ngayong gabi si Simeon Hildana at Christina Hildana. Tayo po ay magsitayo. May dearly beloved brothers and sisters, with one heart and one soul, let us by our prayers come to the aid of this sister who is blessed with hope so that as she approaches the font of baptism and rebirth the almighty father may bestow on them all his merciful help we will now have the litany of the saints Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray, pray for us. Holy Angels of God, pray, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray, pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us, Saint Peter and Saint Paul. Pray for us, Saint Andrew. Pray for us, Saint John. Pray for us, Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us. Stephen, Saint Ignatius of Antioch, Saint Lawrence, 
Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Anastasia, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungso, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Athanasius, pray for us. Saint Basil, pray for us. Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis Savior, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus. Pray for us, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus. Pray for us, all holy men and women, saints of God. Pray, pray for us, Lord, be merciful. Lord, Lord deliver Lord, us, we pray. From all evil, Lord, Lord deliver us, we pray. From every sin, Lord, Lord deliver us, we pray. From everlasting death, Lord, Lord deliver us, we pray. By your incarnation, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By your death and resurrection, Lord, deliver us, we pray. By the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Lord, deliver us, we pray. Be merciful to us sinners, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Bring this chosen one to new birth through the grace of baptism. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Almighty ever living God, be present by the mysteries of your great love and send forth the spirit of adoption to create the new peoples brought to birth for you in the font of baptism so that what is to be carried out by our humble service may be brought to fulfillment by your mighty power through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who by invincible power accomplished a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. 
O God, whose Spirit, in the first moments of the world's creation, hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and the beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from the slavery to Pharaoh, would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with his blood, and after his resurrection, commanded his disciples, Go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children. Through Christ our Lord. O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son to the fullness of this font. so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into his death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns in the union with the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
Please be seated. We will now ask the candidate for baptism to present herself. We will ask the sponsors to stand on the back. My dear sister, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. My dear sister, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary? suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. What Christian name are you going to take? Can you bow your head? Can the sponsors hold the shoulders? Anastasia, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We will now have the anointing, the God of power, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin and brought you to new life through water and the Holy Spirit. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that united to his people, you may remain forever a member of Christ who is Priest, prophet, and king. My dear Anastasia, you have become a new creation and you are now clothed in Christ. Receive the baptismal garment 
and bring it unstained to the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus Christ so that you may have everlasting light. My dear God parents, please come forward now to give to the newly baptized the light of Christ. You light it up there. Anastasia received the light of Christ. You have been enlightened by Christ. Walk as his daughter and his child of the light. Keep the flame of faith alive in your heart. When the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. My dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been also buried in Christ so that we may walk with Him in the newness of life. Now that our Lenten observance is concluded, we also renew our promises in holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in His holy Catholic Church. So I ask everyone to stand. Please light your candles. Begin you muna ng candle ng light ito. My dear brothers and sisters, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and the prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty? Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again on the, from the dead, 
and is seated at the right hand of God. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. May Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, bestow on you the forgiveness of sins, keep you in His grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Dear Anastasia, you have received baptism and now to complete the initiation into the church, we will have the invitation for you for confirmation. You have been born again to become member of Christ and of His people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon the Apostle Peter and all the Apostles on Pentecost and given to them and their successors. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit which you receive will make you more like Christ, help you to be witness to His suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be an active member of the church and build up the body of Christ in faith and in love. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for Anastasia, his adopted daughter, already born 
in the eternal life in baptism that He will graciously pour the Holy Spirit upon her to confirm her with the abundant gifts through this anointing, conform her more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought your servant Anastasia to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, free her from sin, and send upon her, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Give her the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety, fill her with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Anastasia, be sealed with the power of of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Let's give the Lord a round of clap offerings. We may put up our candles. We will now have the liturgy of the Eucharist. Verse of the feet. We stand for the prayers of the faithful. My dear brothers and sisters, filled with paschal joy, let us offer our prayers to God our Father who raised Jesus from the dead. Full of trust in His power and love, we say, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the po people of God, that the mystery of the resurrection resonate throughout the whole world through the genuine witnessing of Christians and their offering of themselves in the service for the life of those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. For our new sister in Christ, that she may live up to her baptismal promises, preserve her in the grace of God, and be active members of our church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For the whole world, that human society may cultivate a culture of life and sharing, and so uplift those who are dying of poverty, oppression, and war, so that the world may truly know that peace that Christ's resurrection brings 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. For our brothers and sisters who are suffering, that their sorrow may be changed into joy, their grief be turned into rejoicing, and their seeming death be transformed in the fullness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For our Christian community, that it may bear witness to the mystery of the resurrection of the Lord and help make this mystery real in the lives of all its members and especially in the lives of those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. For ourselves, that as we renew our baptismal promises, we may better live out our Christian faith in our thoughts, words, and actions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, us. hear us. All powerful God and Father, you raised your Son from the dead as a promise and foretaste of what is to come to your people. Hear the prayers of the people your Son has gained for you. Grant us your grace and new life in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please all stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the mystery of our salvation may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night, Above all, to laud you more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer to you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Cardinal Archbishop, all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, your beloved daughter, Anastasia, our community gathered here as well as online. Remember your servants patiently, Father Jerome Casulari, Father Pascual Libesti, Father Joseph Villena, Father Socrates Montialto, Father Nicomides Riporial, Father Serbiliano Sinoy, Nelson Lim, Dennis Tanisin, John Lawrence Dagungdung, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, protector of the Universal Church, with Peter, James, and John, and Andrew, and Paul, and all the blessed apostles, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, St. Pedro Calungsod, blessed James Salverione, blessed Timothy Jacardo, and blessed Ili Naguera, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, lahat ng parangal at papuri, Ay sa iyo, Diyos Ama, makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasa walang hanggan. Kapatid, pagsamasamahin natin ang ating mga panalangin sa ngalan ni Jesus na tagumpay mula kamatayan. 
dalhin natin sa Ama. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, be safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now give to one another the peace of Christ. Peace, peace be with you. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body, we drink your blood. Let them not bring us condemnation, but health, healing, and protection of mind and body. Behold, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. For those who cannot receive the Holy Communion, especially the sick and the OFWs, join us in praying the Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our hearts and 
Please all stand. Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by the Paschal Sacrament one in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Pwede ho tayo magsiupo, sumandali. Nais ko pong gamitin ang sandaling ito upang magpasalamat sa lahat po ng naging bahagi ng atin pong Kwaresma 2024. Yung mga nag-attend, nag-serve, naghila, nagpukpok, naglamay upang ayusin ang lahat po para sa atin pong uh, napakagandang kwaresma na pagdiriwang sa taong ito. Uh, sa lahat ng dumalo, sa lahat ng sumuporta sa ating pong lalo-lalo na ay Holy Week uh, prayers. Oh, pasalamatan nyo naman yung nasa tabi nyo. Palakpakan nyo. Oh, dumalo yan. Ha? Sumama yan. Ah. Lahat po ng mga kaugnay at kaagapay natin na local government units ng Pasay City, Mayor Emil uh, Calixto, Congressman Tony, Vice Mayor Ding, mga konsehal. Gayun din po ang Barangay Chairman, at mga council ng mga nasasakupan natin na mga barangay ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Ang mga tanod, mga pasay traffic, at ang police assistance na naka-assign sa Our Lady of Sorrows. Bigyan natin sila ng masigabong palakpa. Salamat po sa inyong assistance. Sa lahat po ng balangay ng ihos, na nasa ilalim ng parokya, ang Ampon, Batang Harrison, at Senior Hugs. Mabuhay po kayo. Maraming salamat. Salamat din po sa Benjas, kay Mox Angeles at ang kanyang pamilya, kay Councilor Benedict Angeles. Maraming salamat. Salamat sa Ministry of Hospitality. Sa atin pong mga altar servers, gayon din po sa lahat ng extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion na nag-renew ng Holy Thursday. O lalahan ninyo ha, may bago kayong assignment, yung inyong mga sick call. Gusto kong makita ang schedule. Ha? Mga lektor at commentator, siyempre. Nakatago sa ating paningin, pero nandyan po ang sokom ng parokya. Ang iba't ibang mga choir na bumubuo po ng ating music ministry, maraming salamat. Salamat din sa ating mga Bea Sisters sa kanila pong pakikiisa. Sa lahat po ng mga tumulong upang ayusin ang mga Holy Week preparation natin, ang Paris Youth Ministry, si Rene, si Jimmy, ah, si Tala, si Libby Chan, 
Uh, hindi ko na mabasa ibang pangalan dito. Si Dennis, si Julian, si Charm, si Dwayne, si Absidy. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng sponsors, donors, at benefactors. Siyempre, nais nating pasalamatan ang apat na SSP Juniors na nakasama natin malapit na pong umuwi. Gusto nyo ba silang umuwi? Ha? Hindi pa ba? Oo. Si Russell Matthew Patolot, ang atin pong uh, kantor ngayong gabi. Si EJ Joseph Reyes, ang atin pong layout artist. Si Almir John Bagabaldo. At si John Cesar Kaalim. Siyempre, nagpapasalamat din po tayo sa ating mga kasamahang pare. Kaya po, kinaya natin ang Holy Week na ito kasi hindi ako nag-solo. Isipin niyo kung ako lahat mula nung Palm Sunday, iika-ika pa. No? So, salamat kay Father James Beher. No? 40 years in the priesthood. Uh, 45? Salamat kay Father Boy, 47 years in the priesthood. Si Father Noel, hindi po natin kasama ngayong gabi kasi siya po ang nakatoka sa matatanda sa poor little sisters ah, doon sa Lancaster. Kasama po yan sa ina-apostolate natin. At syempre, kay Father Resti, na bagamat malaki ay nakatago, no? pero very active. So, kaya po flawless ang ating live stream dahil sa kanya. Maraming salamat, Father Resti. So, I hope nabigyan natin ng pasasalamat ang lahat para kay Anastasia ang ating uh, uh, katikis na si Mercy. Salamat. Huh? Magsitayo po tayong lahat. Lahat po ng mga pari magbibigay ng blessing. Pagkatapos nito, ay magpipicture taking kami siyempre ng ating bininyagan at kinumpilan. Pwede na ho kayong maghanda para po sa salubong. Dederecho tayo sa salubong. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us go in the peace of the Lord. Happy Easter.
Ah. Ang mga babae po doon po sa birhen
<laughs> Ang salubong ay tanging kaugilian sa Pilipinas bilang isang Pilipinong Katoliko Naniniwala tayong si Jesus ay nagpakita sa kanyang inang si Maria noong madaling araw ng linggo ng pagkabuhay. Ipinagdiriwang natin ang salubong ni Jesus na muling nabuhay at ng kanyang inang si Maria. Ito ay di lamang pagpapakita ni Jesus sa kanyang ina, kundi gayon din sa ating lahat na kanyang mga kapatid. Nagpakita siya sa atin sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga salita, sa pagdiriwang ng banal na misa at sa banal na pakikinabang. Kaisa ni Inang Maria ng mga anghel at mga banal sa kalangitan na nagbubunyi sa pagkabuhay ng Mesiyas, tayo'y nagpuprosisyon tanda ng ating pakikiisa sa kanilang kagalakan. Kasama ng mga kalalakihan si Jesus na muling nabuhay, at kasama naman ng mga kababaihan ang ating mahal na inang nagdadalamhati. Sa ngalan ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo, Amen. Dapat nga tayong magalak, magpasalamat sa Diyos Ama at kay Heso Kristo ng anak niya. Hinugasan sa dugo ni Heso Kristo ang kasamaan, kasalanan ng sangkatauhan. Noong unang panahon, iniligtas ng Diyos ang kanyang bayan mula sa pagkaalipin. Itinawid sa dagat at inihatid sa pangakong bayan. Sa gabing ito, ating ipagdiriwang ang paglaya natin mula sa pagiging alipin ng kasalanan at pagtawid ni Jesus kasama tayo mula sa kamatayan tungo sa kanyang pagkabuhay. Ipagdiwang natin ang dakilang pag-ibig ng Diyos na nagpasiyang tayo'y tubusin at ang malasakit niya sa atin sa pamagitan ni Heso Kristo. Pakinggan nawa ngayon ang salaysay mula sa mahal na pasyon sa pagsalubong ni Kristo sa kanyang mahal na ina.
sikutiksit Haleluya Ora pro nobis Deus Haleluya Manalangin tayo, O Diyos, na sa pamagitan ng muling pagkabuhay ng iyong anak na si Yesu Kristo, ang Panginoon namin, minarapat mong paligayahin ang mundo. Inihiling namin sa iyo na alang-alang sa Birhing Maria na kanyang ina, makamtan namin ang kaligayahan sa buhay na walang hanggan sa pamagitan ni Kristo, aming Panginoon. Amen. Bilang tanda ng pakikihati natin sa galak at saya ng ating mahal na ina sa muling pagkabuhay ng kanyang anak na ating tagapagligtas, tayo pong lahat ay pumalakpak. At ngayon, Magaganap ang sayaw sa pagbati. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy Easter sa inyo lahat. Happy Easter. Alleluia, ako'y laging nasa'yo, Alleluia. Buhay ako muli, Alleluia, ako'y laging nasa'yo,
更少，熬比更少。